Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I am Len DiCostanzo, Senior Vice President of Business Development here at Accordo, and I'm joined today by Jared Adam, Director of Product Management, and we're real excited as we're bringing Accordo Cloud Optimizer to market July 1. We're here to give you all a sneak preview, get you ready to sign up and join us, and today we're gonna to talk about unlocking revenue opportunities with Accordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365. Uh, so let's go, we've got a pretty solid agenda here. We're gonna talk about who is Accordo. Uh, we're gonna talk about the market opportunity for cloud optimization. And then we're gonna bring in Jared to discuss and show you Cloud Optimizer for Office 365. I'll come back in and wrap up and share a little bit about how you can accelerate revenue with Cloud Optimizer for Office 365. And then I'll leave you with some next steps. And uh, hopefully we have enough time for that Q&A. And if we can't, answer the questions in the Q&A. We'll definitely respond in an email. So who is Accordo? Uh, we've been around 20 years and probably no one knows about us. We've been working behind the scenes on behalf of our clients. Accordo has been a pioneer in driving customer revenue services at scale with our partners operating in more than 40 countries. And over the last several years, we've been accelerating cloud transformation for customers and their partners at scale. And you're gonna see that in some of these numbers here. We've engaged over 1 million customers during those 20 years of business, driving over $3 billion in revenue through our channel partners on behalf of our vendor clients. And over the last several years with a focus on the cloud, we've pushed over $800 million in cloud revenue through our channel partners. So while you might not know about Accordo, you now know who we are and we've been out there helping you drive revenue uh, for 20 years out of Auckland, New Zealand. And we've been led by uh, Eric Matarano, our CEO, over the last nine or 10 months or so. You might recall Eric, he ran the Microsoft channel for many years, uh, landed at Intermedia as their CRO and now is our CEO. And of course, uh, I just wanna give a shout out myself uh, for my Autotask and Data Days. Feel like I know quite a few of you guys out there and I'm happy you've joined. We got Eric Roach off to the right. You might recognize him also out of Microsoft and Intermedia and the rest of our leadership team, Tony Sparks, Chief Product Officer. He's uh, been certainly working behind the scenes with Jared, making sure this product is good to go. And you can see George and Miles, Vince, Wendy, and Jan leading our head of global service operations. And of Cordo's capabilities revolve around people, data, and technology. We believe digital transformation begins with people, and we've hired the best. We've got consultants, licensing analysts, sales engineers, all with the expertise to navigate cloud complexity and deliver success. And for 20 years, we've been combining big data with predictive analytics, capturing and managing and transforming large data sets and delivering actionable insights tangible value and ROI to our clients, our partners, and their customers all through our proprietary technologies, which provide agility, automation, and visibility businesses need to manage technology assets, both hardware and software, mitigate risk, and optimize cloud performance. And the cloud is why we're here today. So let's talk a little bit about the market opportunity for cloud optimization. Well, we're all out there in the channel. We're all putting our customers up in the cloud. And in fact, Gartner estimates that $206 billion will be spent on public cloud services in 2019. That's up 17% from 2018, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you out there like me when that num knows when that number is zero. So a huge jump in the cloud, we know it's here to stay, and Microsoft has been a huge part of the cloud uptick through the partner community. And here you see Microsoft's Q3 FY19 quarterly report sharing that cloud offerings have driven commercial cloud revenue to $9.6 billion in Q3, up 41% year over year. And partners have been leading the way, moving your clients, your customers to the cloud, where now Office 365 has over 180 million users and growing at an unheard of pace of more than 4 million users per month, again, from Microsoft's quarterly report. And what's 
really interesting is as you've moved folks to the cloud, what's becoming really relevant and real important is you need to optimize the existing use of the cloud. As you've moved to the cloud, it might have been all about getting there. Now that you're there, you need to focus on optimization, mostly through cost savings, but perhaps reallocating those savings, driving service revenue, it's all about optimizing the cloud in 2019 and beyond. In fact, Gartner says data and analytics leaders are driving digital transformation, creating monetization opportunities, radically improving customer experience and reshaping industries. And this is where Accordo has been for 20 years. And we're gonna combine that expertise with our cloud and really show you that data-driven cloud optimization is the next hot thing for MSPs and business technology solution providers. If enterprise businesses have realized the need to optimize their use of the cloud, why not SMBs and you guys out there are the IT department, the business technology department for your clients, and you need to be showing them the way. Because as a managed service provider, as a, a technology solution provider, you're the one consulting on business needs and wants. You're the one delivering those outcomes your clients need through the technology solutions that you build for them. And beyond that, you need to provide thought leadership, show them the way. And you have been, you've been moving your customers to the cloud. You are the guys, the, the companies, the businesses driving that revenue through the cloud, leading the way with Office 365. A critical component of business infrastructure is what Office 365 has become. But over and over what we hear, you're, you are not making, generating enough revenue out of Office 365. Are you generating revenue beyond the sale of a license where maybe you make a couple of points? Well, you have to ask, are you proactively analyzing licensing usage and consumption of Office 365? More importantly, are you ensuring your customers realize a positive ROI on their Office 365 investment? You can ask yourself a simple question. If your clients are still sending attachments and not sharing a link, you know you have an issue. And more importantly, if you're not attacking some of these issues, you're not maximizing revenue from this critical productivity suite. And the worst thing you can do is let your customers figure it out themselves. All they'll want to do is cut costs. You have to be out in the forefront. Show your clients the way to better ROI from their cloud investment using an MSP-managed enterprise-grade cloud optimization platform. And Accordo Cloud Optimizer is the answer. It's going to help you uh, show your clients the way. So what is Accordo Cloud Optimizer? Well, it's a comprehensive platform for cloud cost optimization and business growth built on our experience with big data and predictive analytics feeding our proprietary technology, which enables our partners to deliver continuous cloud management service. Cloud management, cloud optimization is not a one-time thing. It's not a project you do today and forget about tomorrow. You need to do it all the time. Monitor and manage the cloud for your clients to drive profitable outcomes for you and your business and a positive ROI for your customers. Cloud Optimizer is about accelerating growth of you and your clients, strengthening that engagement you have as you ascend into that trusted advisor role, that business technology department role for your SMB clients. And it all starts with unlocking revenue opportunities that get you where you need to be. So what is a Cordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365? It's the first cloud optimizer connection. And you're going to hear about that a little bit more from Jared later in the presentation. But we're looking to connect Azure Next, AWS, G Suite. And we're going to ask for your help a little bit later on. But Office 365 is the first connection. And we've been moving Microsoft customers to the cloud using Office 365 as the linchpin for several years. We, you saw $800 million in revenue. And it's about moving clients to Office 365. And when we moved clients there, we wanted them to stick for you. So we developed a Cordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365 to collect all that available data inside of Office 365, 
put it through our data science and machine learning engine and present automated actionable insights revealing revenue opportunities based on optimizing your client's use optimizing their environment and providing alerts perhaps security alerts or when storage limits are being reached and it's really all about driving your growth driving your clients growth and why should you look at a Cordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365. Well, we kind of posed it a little earlier. Are you maximizing revenue from Office 365 beyond licensing? Do you have or want to build an Office 365 practice? Microsoft, your distributor partners, they all want you to generate revenue from Office 365 and they're helping you do it. Take advantage of it. Are you optimizing your customer's use of Office 365? Or are you using a set it and forget it approach, thinking that all you could make is a couple of points of margin? Drilling down into detail, we've heard time and time again, technicians will provision a license, clients will provision a license, you get the bill, but you forgot to bill your customers and you're leaking revenue uh, because you're not billing for provision licensing. Are you matching up license counts from complementary applications? What does that mean? Well, everybody knows Office 365 needs to be backed up. Are you ensuring alignment between license counts between those two solutions? And more importantly, what we've heard from our partners, they want an automated sales resource, somebody hunting for opportunities. And that's what a Cordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365 is going to be for you, an automated sales resource. And I'm going to bring in Jared Adam, supported by Tony Sparks, to share a little bit about Cloud Optimizer for Office 365 and give you a great solution overview. So Jared, uh, off to you. Absolutely excited to be here. Really, really excited. Um, a lot of work and, and uh, research has gone into this and, and a lot of asking questions of, of the partner industry and, and the channel. So really excited to present the, the Cloud Optimizer for 0365 today. And, and I have Tony Sparks alongside me. Um, and, uh, and I think we're, we're keen to get some questions for the end and, and have him jump in. Um, so I'll move on to the next slide. I can. There we go. Okay, so the the quarter story. So just building upon Len's uh, slides above, uh, we've got 20 years of, of real success and pedigree in the space, in the SMB space, and, and it's no accident. Uh, we've been building you know solutions and applying a, a formula um, into the space for, for continued success. Um, we could tell what SMB customers needed and, and what their next steps were before the vendors and in many cases the partners could. Um, and in that time, we've been getting a lot of feedback and, and conversation starters from partners reaching out to us, asking how they could apply um, the, the, our products to their wider customer base. Um, and we listened. We listened to the, to the partner need. Uh, and we've been researching and, and having a lot of conversations, some of which the early uh, partner advisory board members are on this call today, so it's great to, to see you guys. Um, and we're really keen to, to externalize this, this capability that we've built out over 20 years and, and provide you with the access and utility to, to better uh, drive revenue and, and optimize your customer's software. So that, that formula is uh, not a secret but it's very, very hard to implement. So we've got the customer visibility as a starting point. Absolutely, it's a, it's a really, really important step, but it's not the end game. Um, we, we need to be able to see what our customers are doing. And we've also seen in the market that there's a flood of, of reports, there's a flood of data that, that comes into the, the, the channel and, and to MSPs. Um, but what use is a report if you don't know how to use it and, and get the, the actionable insights from? So our formula, uh, builds upon that visibility, applies our predictive analytics, um, and then very, very importantly, uh, provides the prescriptive actions or the recommendations to take on those analytics to, to maximize the outcomes and obviously end with, with revenue outcomes, which is, again, the, the point that, that Accordo has been able to do for the last 20 years. So, I'm going to delve straight into the solution. I'm really, really, as I said, I'm excited to, to expose this early visibility of the product. Um, we've been doing a lot of work on this and we're really excited about it. So I won't go too much into the registration page. 
clearly, uh, as per you'd expect in, in a modern SaaS tool, very, very easy. Um, and it's pertinent for me to, to um, point out this point that you have a, a, a upon registration, there's a, a 14 day free trial. So you can apply the value without constraint across the, your entire customer base and really see the value right from day one. So I'll jump straight in. And it, it, uh, I land in the, in the customer management page, and this is the, the, the control center of the application. Um, we've designed it for ease of use. Obviously, we're bringing in very complex data, very dynamically complex data, which I'll, I'll come to. Uh, and we want to we want to present it and provide it in a consumable way, which is very, very easy to, to comprehend and utilize. So we have the uh, a, a chat, st pretty ch standard uh, chat function. Um, I'm able to have a, a conversation if I need to with my quarter support team. Um, I can look through uh, the knowledge base to, to find the answers I'm after if I need to. Hopefully, uh, you would hope in this case, I know the, the product well enough not to rely on those guys. So I'll go straight in and add a customer. Um, and immediately, I just need to add the customer name, the, the contact email, and the country. Uh, in this case, I've, I've pre-populated with my own uh, customer. Um, and I, with that limited information, all I need to do now is save and link, which is going to take me to the 0365 portal credentials page. And I enter the credentials, which I should have if I'm managing the, the, the 0365 portal on my customer's behalf, the credentials for that particular customer. Uh, click next and it's going to take me back to the customer management page and as you can see here we've got the uh, my customer populated within that page I can immediately see it's pulled the data in I can see the connection status is is active and I can see the the total uh, number of licenses the available licenses uh, and the the, uh, the total spend of the customer so I go through and very quickly uh, add my other customers, connect to the 0365 portals, um, and immediately I can sort and filter on any of the, the, the column headings that you can see there. So I can immediately see my top spenders, uh, those with the, the greatest numbers of, of available licenses. Um, and again, really good for, uh, for billing reconciliation, as uh, Len pointed out earlier. Um, I can point to the, uh, I can see the connection statuses, I should say, for each of my customers. So immediately I can see where a connection may have failed or expired. Um, we obviously, this is very, very dynamic data. We want to make sure that with a single point of truth at any one point in time. So it's really important to keep those connections uh, and, and the, the application will do that on your behalf. So once I've got my customers in the, the application, I can click on any of my customers. In this case, I'm going to click on the, the bottom uh, customer Skyforce Limited. Um, I can obviously look at into the 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 uh, profile, the more of the information uh, breakdown of that particular customer. I can see um, the the dashboard uh, connections that I've got, um, and I can also click on the individual dashboard for the particular customer. So in this case, I'm going to click on the Skyforce 0365 dashboard. And it's going to take me to this screen, the, the individual customer dashboard, giving you the insights against their, their 0365 usage. So again, a lot of really complex information uh, presented in a way where, that you can consume and find, the, find the, uh, the, the actionable insights really, really quickly. Um, we have the, the top layer of, of information there, which is really um, important. Obviously, we can see the total number of plans purchased. Again, great for billing re uh, reconciliation. We can see the unassigned plans. Um, again, very uh, pertinent for utilization and better optimization. And we can have a look into the revenue impacts of, of those recommendations. So I'll, I'll, I'll flick around the, the dashboard. And the first piece that I come to is the, the plan spend or the license spend overview. And that just gives me a, a greater breakdown of the, the plans in use and, again, very importantly, the available licenses that aren't necessarily being consumed and the revenue impacts of those. Um, we'll delve into that in a bit more detail. Um, but first, the, we have a, a view of the, the total users or the top users, I should say, across uh, the, the customer. 
So again, if I want to have, I can delve into, click on view more and delve into the granular detail for when I'm having my monthly or quarterly reviews of the customer, again, giving greater insights in terms of which users are, are, are best utilizing and which users need potential training and consult, consultation opportunities. I get visibility of the company-wide uh, OneDrive storage uh, for a period of time, in this case, uh, the, the last month. So I can see really quickly uh, trends. I can see where there's been fluctuations that I need to act upon. And it just provides that security to, to you, the MSP, and, and the end customer just to, to know that these, there's going to be no surprises where we understand what's going on there from a security and, and billing point of view. We have the OneDrive top users and we have the departmental spend. Again, really had a lot of feedback on, on this particular widget in terms of the importance for um, creating training opportunities that, that might be tailored per department. Uh, and then most importantly, or well, the final piece that I talked to is the recommendations. So for this, uh, Skyforce Limited, I can see that there are 10 total recommendations um, and immediately I want to have a look at those. I'm excited about that. I want to see how I can better optimize my, my uh, Skyforce customer and I'll click on that, get those insights. And it takes me to a breakdown of those recommendations. We've broken it down into three different uh, categories. Uh, the first being engagement, uh, really where you providing with the information that you can have conversations with your, your customers around unassigned licenses. Um, and you can see here there's three different uh, plan unassigned licenses uh, where there are uh, users that are underutilizing licenses importantly as well. Um, it provides you again that, that visibility to have the conversations, to provide the training, to better utilize the software, um, make sure that the customers are optimizing their investment in the software. And where necessary, it potentially may be a, a cost saving exercise if, if you so wish to approach it in that way. But ultimately you're providing a service and a value to your end customer. So we've got the, the impacts uh, very much associated with the, the revenue associations. Uh, and now I'll delve into the monthly uh, revenue recommendations. So this is more around what other services could you be providing on a monthly basis to drive your revenue, provide new revenue opportunities based on the data and the insights that we can see from this, this customer, in this case, Skyforce. So the, the, the recommendations I can see for Skyforce are really around um, OneDrive and, and fluctuations in OneDrive, um, files being moved. Um, and this is probably a, a really, really good case for reaching out to the customer and offering, um, highlighting a, a potential problem, a security risk potentially, and highlighting opportunities for backup or for security solutions to, to cater to those. And then finally, we have the, consult, the, the consulting revenue. So again, providing you with visibility, uh, in this case, uh, utilization, underutilization, I should say, of, of Teams. It's an opportunity for you to reach out to your your customers and provide a, a specialized training package or a, a, a way to better support them to collaborate in this case and, and be successful within their own businesses. I can delve into uh, the users, uh, in, into the individual users, get a lot more detail and depth. Again, great if I'm reaching out to a customer within a, a monthly or quarterly review or proactively trying to reach out and provide a bit of uh, analysis um, at a, at a more granular level. Um, it breaks it down into any of the, well, the, the plans as a starting point and I can sort and filter on these. So if I know that there's a problem with enterprise E5 utilization and there's an opportunity for optimization, I can sort on, on, on E5 and make sure that I've got the, the, top, the users that I need to, to address. Um, we've got the, the cost department, uh, the storage usage, and the last activity, which again is very, very important in terms of understanding the per user um, utilization of, of the software. So the next, the next piece of the, this is a very important puzzle is that this is the unique aggregation service that we're providing. So it's really, really important to provide you with obviously the visibility, the analytics, and the recommendations for each of your customers. But you want to 
as an MSP, understand which of your customers you need to be addressing, where your you need the context to understand across your customer base, where the greatest opportunities are or the largest number of recommendations, and allow yourselves to act in the in a way which is going to maximize your own ROI of your you know, limited time and, and resources we all have. So I'll, we've got the strap line type of information. So immediately you can view the total number of customers within your MSP business. Um, I can see the total number of uh, active users. Again, really important where, as Len was alluding to, technicians and, and end users are adding and subtracting users. I can see the total number of licenses and, and build into that, break that down, have a look from a billing reconciliation point of view. Um, and a unique, uh, a total unique plans and licenses uh, count as well, which is really, really important for just understanding the width of service that you're providing to your, to your end customers and making sure that you're prepared to have the right conversations to best support all those, those plans and, and licenses. We also have the, the total number of recommendations across your customer base. Um, and you can go in and, and view those as well. Um, but then the, the first widget that I would, I as an MSP would be living in day in, day out is the, the breakdown of recommendations as, as we um, as went through previously. We've got the engagement recommendations. We have monthly revenue and consulting revenue. And this widget just allows you to understand context across your customer base again, where the, the greatest opportunities are and allows you to uh, to focus on the, the, the opportunities, whether they be in, engagement, monthly re revenue or consulting, and allow you to focus on those that are most important to you. So I'll, I'll come back to that, but I'll just race through the, the dashboard to give you the insight, the, the high level insights. Um, I'm gonna move to the unassigned licenses. Um, and again, really, really important information for just understanding where the underutilization and optimization opportunities are. and Again, very, very importantly, aggregating those, providing the context across your customer base so that you can see which of the customers I need to be reacting to, uh, to first um, today. Um, we have alerts. Um, as I talked to previously, it's really important that, the, that with this dynamic um, data that's coming in from, from O365 portal, that you're constantly got the connection to the application. So we provide you with that insight if there's any connections dropped and you can act upon that immediately. And we provide you with an analytics center and I'll go into this in a bit more detail later on, but it provides you with a, a, the depth and the business intelligence to really delve into the detail yourselves and find the, the, the insights and analytics if you so wish. So I'll go back to the recommendations and I click on the, the view more and again, it takes me to uh, a, a more depth uh, view of the uh, deeper dive of, of those recommendations. Um, it just allows me to have a look at the, the, the again, the types of, of re uh, recommendations. It gives me visibility of all my customers against each of those recommendations. I can sort and filter on the types of recommendations that I'm most keen to address. And then once I've I've got to the point where I understand which customers and for what reasons I need to be acting. I can then go and click into the individual dashboard review uh, pages for each of those customers, which gives me, again, goes back to the recommendations pages uh, that, I, uh, that I spoke to earlier in the piece. So I'm gonna go back to the, the dashboard um, and go into the unassigned licenses, give you a bit more visibility of that. So click on, on view more. And this has been, a, a we've had a lot of positive feedback early on on this. This seems to be a really powerful um, feature for, for, our, uh, for, for our MSP partners. Um, it just allows you to, to delve into those unassigned licenses with a bit more detail. We can get a, a percentage breakdown of customers uh, under utilization and, and nominal figures as well. And I can choose through the filtering and sorting which customers, what types of profile of customer I want to be addressing. So in this case, uh, the, the, the figure that really jumps out to me, the risk that I can see initially is this uh, 363 uh, unassigned licenses from Skyforce Limited. Immediately, I'd be wanting to act upon that. That's a, a risk. I want to make sure that they're going to be able to better utilize that software, uh, optimize that investment, and, and obviously drive a happy customer. 
um, and protect my revenue. So I can click into the view licenses and it breaks that total nominal figure down per plan and license that has been used. So immediately I can see what types of plans have been used uh, that, that, and, and the availability of each of those plans. Um, and I can see the revenue impacts as well. So I would be pointing to the E3 in this case and wanting to make sure that I really have a, a quick conversation, understand how I'm gonna uh, action and, and get the results um, through the, the E3. E3. So again, I'm going to go back to the, the dashboard and give you a bit more visibility insight into the analytics center this time. So I'll click on view more and again, getting into the, the, the detail, but in a very, very easy to consume way. So taking that complex aggregated data across your customer base and allowing you the, the capability to sort and filter, make sure that you, you're uh, talking and, and approaching the customers that that are most important to you for whatever reason, um, allowing you to to scan the types of recommendations that are most important to you again, and delving into a bit more detail, um, allowing you to, to dig into the, the this data, understand the, the 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 dynamics of each of your customers. In this case, the O365 base. So in context to each other, being able to see you know, total number of users, the total licenses, unassigned licenses, total spend, uh, really, really important information that you, that you need to be aware of and, and on top of. And likewise, we're, uh, you're enabled to go through the, the types of recommendations, again, those three different recommendation types across each of the customers and, and really cater to the, the focus that you need. And when, I'm, when I've got to the point where I understand which of the, the customers I want to dig into. Um, I, again, I can click on the visit the, the customer 0365 uh, optimizer dashboard and provide myself with the with the, the, uh, the visibility and the insights and the recommendations that, that we've talked through. So that's the, the, that is the product as we're going to be delivering it to market on the 1st of July. We're really, really excited um, about the value that we can offer. And, and as I say, we've done a lot of talking, a lot of listening uh, to, our, to the target market, to, the, to our MSPs. Um, and we're really, um, we've validated that these are key concerns and, and real value, you know, practical, tangible value to your business. So to recap really quickly, a very, very easy registration uh, process with a 14-day uh, free trial to uh, trial out that, that the value across your customers. Um, very, very easy to add your customers and, and connect to that dynamic and complex uh, data that's coming from O365 portal. Um, importantly, that single pane of glass, so the visibility of your customer base, but most importantly, we want to make sure that that pane of glass is, is a thick pane. So we want to provide, obviously, the actionable insights on that pane. We want to mine the opportunities on your behalf, allow the, the application to do the legwork, the analytics legwork, and expose the best opportunities to you and provide your resource, your business, with the insights and the, the prescriptive actions, the recommendations to really drive those outcomes. Um, we're looking to obviously provide a lot of, demonstrate value to your, your end customers, drive those revenue opportunities for you. And ultimately, we want to help you retain happy customers, grow your customer base, um, and we're really excited about this. So I'm going to go to the, the next piece, which is the uh, the O365, that the Accordo Cloud Optimizer for O365 roadmap. Um, again, this is a, a starting point for us, but we, in talking and, and listening, understanding the market, we, we have a long, long list of value that we're looking to pack into the, the application in the next uh, month, you know, weekly. Um, so the first one that I'd like to call out is the PSA integration. Really, really important to make sure that we're uh, integrating with, particularly as a starting point, the billing reconciliation. So we can um, we can bring in the data from the contracts within PSA, make sure uh, integration it's integrated with the usage, direct usage that's dynamic and coming in from the O365 portal and allowing you to make sure that the that you're preventing revenue leakage, that you know that you're charging the, the, the right um, 
you're, you're billing your, your, your customers in the right way. We want to bring in notifications and alerts. So again, with all the, the visibility and analytics and insights uh, recommendations, it's really important to us that we take as much of, of this uh, off your hands as possible and that we can proactively communicate with you when there are new opportunities, when things have changed, that we see uh, where, where there are actions required. Um, third on the list is workflow automation um, on action on the action recommendations. And again, this has very much come from a lot of listening to to, to you, the MSP base. Um, some of our our uh, advisory board on the call will recognise this one. We want to go a step further. We want to make sure we've got the recommendations, the analytics, and the recommendations. But where we can, we'd love to be able to drive um, the the actions on your behalf. Uh, reach out to your customers in an automated way, obviously very, very configurable from your behalf so it's safe, but allow you uh, to save time and effort whilst the, the application drives the outcomes on your behalf. Um, we're, we're looking to expand the, the PSA integration in terms of ticket generation, uh, event alerts being raised, um, and then lastly, opportunity generation. So making sure that the the massive opportunities that we're raising within the, the cloud optimizer can be integrated back into the PSA uh, tooling and you can um, run your business from the single application uh, if you need so. So I'm going to go into the, the next slide which is around the, the connections. So we've got features and integrations and then importantly to us is the connections. We've started as Len said with 0365 it's an obvious capability for us. We're delving next into Azure Connection and that is going to be available in very, very early, early September um, and expanding on that, that uh, the optimization and opportunity exposure uh, through, through Azure. Um, we're looking at AWS, again, same sort of um, optimizing opportunities uh, and also a G Suite. But again, we've, we're listening. Uh, we understand that there are other connections that, that might be more um, valuable to your business. And we'd love to hear back either through the chat window now or direct and through email um, if, if you so wish. And with that, I'll, I'll hand back to Len. Thank you very much for, for your time and attention and um, look forward to seeing, the, uh, seeing these MSPs uh, growing their businesses within our application and, and working for you to better provide value for your end customers. I'm going to kind of wrap up here and share a little bit about how you might accelerate revenue with a Cordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365. There's many ways you could do it. I think one of the keys for me is knowing that there's a bunch of, of folks out there trying to help you build an Office 365 practice. So a Cordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365 offers everything you and your customers need for cloud success. It's going to be key to help you build that Office 365 practice. We're going to call it an Office 365 practice accelerator because that's exactly what it's going to do. It's also going to drive recurring revenue-based Office 365 monitoring and management services. Think about what you're doing with your RMM right now and look at Office 365 Cloud Optimizer for Office 365 as the first step in your cloud RMM. And it's all about automating the discovery of professional service revenue opportunities. If your client was looking at this data and you aren't in front of them with it, they may be thinking they don't need all those licenses. They don't need all the different applications because everyone is not using them. We're going to give you insight into that, and you're going to go in and do a project. You're going to consult. You're going to train. On top of that, a Cloud Optimizer is going to help drive and align with complementary product sales. As I mentioned before, 365 backup, security solutions that are out there, uh, email uh, scanning solutions, all about driving additional recurring revenue through complementary cloud product sales. And we're gonna ensure that you never miss billing for provisional provisioned licenses again. 
Uh, you're going to get a report initially, and as Jared said in our uh, upcoming release, we're going to integrate with not only Autotask PSA, but whatever billing system you have out there, ConnectWise, doesn't really matter. We know that that's important to you to bill your clients for all the work and all the products that you may, in fact, be getting billed for by your vendors. And the ultimate goal is to reduce churn of your Office 365 users and those complementary solutions that go along with the licenses that you've put out there. And Cloud Optimizer for Office 365 is all about providing actionable insights and guidance to help you optimize uh, your client spend and use of Office 365 and really take it beyond the licensing. So add a Cordo Cloud Optimizer for Office 365 based service offerings to your catalog today. And uh, of course, we're gonna give you all the support you need to maximize this opportunity. You're not out there alone. We have our Accordo Partner Program benefits that are gonna really help you go to market quickly and start driving revenue with Cloud Optimizer. We are 100% channel focused. We are gonna pro sell with you whenever you need help. Give your rep a shout, give me a shout, give Jared a shout. We are here to help you sell and generate revenue. You're gonna have a dedicated partner manager who's gonna be right there alongside you. And when those next connections come out, share that with you and let you know how to generate revenue with it. We're providing fixed cost tiered pricing for licenses. I'll share more on that in a second, but your cost will never change and you'll understand how you can save money as you move up the tiers. We're gonna provide live and on-demand training, not only technical training, but business building training as well. We're gonna share how to take those RMM bundles, those managed service bundles you're delivering now, and how to craft Office 365 based service bundles around that and generate additional recurring revenue. We've got a partner portal in development and we're gonna share a partner playbook and a partner toolkit. That toolkit's gonna to contain co-brandable assets, uh, pieces of content you can share with your client base and let them know that you're bringing it uh, for them and really going to show them the way in the cloud and drive ROI. And that partner playbook is going to wrap around those tools, tell you what to use and when, and uh, really help you drive leads and uh, continue to grow your business. And you provide that uh, level one support to your clients, level two, how, however up, far up the chain you want to go, and we're that next level support. We're going to be there when you need us because we know that it's critical for you to get responses quickly, and we want to be there for you. So I mentioned tiered fixed costs for partners, and what we're trying to do is help you save as you add more customers and users. So at tier one, up to 500 users, you're going to pay a dollar a month down to 80 cents when you're up over 501 users up to 1,000. At tier three, up to 5,000 users will be at 70 cents. And at 5,001 or more users, you're at 60 cents per user per month. But that's not all because you're sitting here on this webinar with us right now. We've got a promotion code that you can use when you sign up. Uh, enter in promotion code launch ACO by July 31, 2019, uh, and perhaps down in New Zealand, it's 31 July 2019 to get a lifetime discounted price of 50% off the retail price of all pricing tiers that are uh, set at the time you sign up. There are additional terms that apply, so be sure to read the terms of use when you sign up. So I'm pretty sure right now you're all asking how to sign up. And more importantly, as Jared said, how to sign up for that free trial. Well, first off, sign up is not going to be available till July 1st, 2019. And we're going to email you the partner sign up link because you jumped on this webinar. We want to give you that leg up and get you started right away. You're going to click on that link, create your account, and you're in for a free 14 day trial and start unlocking revenue opportunities, those optimization recommendations that are going to help your client adopt Office 365 and help you drive revenue. And after that free 14 day trial, you'll get your first invoice based on the licenses that you have out there in the market. And if you have any more questions, you're looking for more information, you can email sales at accordo.com. 
You have my email address right there, len.dicostanzo at accordo.com. So make the move when July 1st rolls around and you grab that link. And we're really looking forward to have you join the Accordo Partner Network and really take advantage of Accordo Cloud Optimizer. So at this point, I want to give a, a big thank you. I always like to actually congratulate folks for taking time out of their busy day to jump on into a webinar like this and learn what's going on out there in the market. And uh, we're happy to help you out. Jared, any last words? Uh, no, just just um, build upon yours. Come and see us and inspire. Uh, reach out, sir. Reach out to us on on email. Uh, love to talk. Love to talk. We want to know your problem. <laughs> yep. Yep. Tony, uh, any last words? No, just uh, guys, this has uh, been a bit of a, a baby of mine for the last uh, you know period of time, last sort of six, eight, nine months, um, and uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to launch well, and you guys are going to reap phenomenal benefits from what we're, uh, we're we're putting out there from next week. Yep, so uh, thanks again, and actually a little shout out to Pete Bussum uh, out of Equilibrium Consulting. He's in the background uh, managing our webinar. So Pete, thanks for uh, taking care of business for us and keeping us on track. And again, uh, thank you out there for joining us, and we'll see you again real soon.